Yo, what the heck is going on in YouTube land? What did I do? Gregory D. Boyce, a.k.a. Ratchet TV uh, hood journalist, sent me a cease and desist notification. I'm like, what did I do to you? Telling me to stop harassing him. I can't believe it. How you are the hood journalist and the hood doctor and you incriminating people from Birmingham by cupcake when somebody already been shipped up the road and you trying to reopen new cases. Vito going to jail. He ain't got shit to do with you. Not you sending me a cease and desist notification. I thought you was for the streets. The streets don't play like that. The streets don't play like that. You can't be running to the police and the cops for what? Talking about I harass you. What did I say to harass you? You signed Dominic Kevin uh, Hart filing a lawsuit against Tasha K for defamation. What did I do to defame you? What did I do to harass you? You got to expand upon this. I ain't did nothing to harass you. All I did was point out your hypocrisy. How you not even from Birmingham talking about you going to become the king of the Birmingham streets? It don't work like that. Not for you. You chose that lifestyle. You chose to be bodied, bodied on the internet and talk crap to them is in Birmingham. Now you trying to blame me for your problems. You the one who said that now Vito locked up, you going to clean Birmingham and now they got a bag on your head and you want to blame me. I ain't got nothing to do with that. So how are you sending me a cease and desist notification? Because I got family in Birmingham. I ain't said none of that. I'm too smart for that. How am I harassing you? You're going to have to tell me exactly how I'm harassing you. You got to explain it. You got to explain it like ESE. How we tried to explain to you that Jaguar Wright was full of dookie and you still did an interview with her and act like you didn't know. Then you flipped on her like you did an interview with Beto and you flipped on Vito and now you want him in jail. You say everybody going to jail but you. You going to jail. Fuck it with me. You going to jail. What I do for you to send me a cease and desist notification? Somebody tell me what did I do to the hood journalist and not you the hood journalist. Sending me a cease and desist notification. Can y'all please put some stars in the chat? Put some stars in the chat. Let me see all my stars. We going out of space and out of galaxy with this one right here. <laughs> You the fans. Now you trying to grip up mahogany. Bitch, I told you I'm correct you anytime I get. It ain't harassment, we correcting you. Nigga, close your goddamn beak if you can't stand the pain or the rain. Not you. Looking like a gate reptilian talking about you playing with me. Look at this nigga right here. Look at that nigga right here. Not this nigga right here. Look how he look like Sid off of Ice Age. Bitch, you look like an extra in true blood Like they didn't suck all your blood out your goddamn body Boy, you sending me a cease and desist notice for what? You already look dead Your T-cells look negative, depleted I don't know what type of disease you got But that don't look good You look like RuPaul on goddamn Molly and Tucci Every night Back in the 80s, okay? Mm -hmm. Girl, who do you want to be? How you gonna be a hood doctor like that? You look like nature boy. Somebody need to find out what you done did and get your life sentence. You think you got away with beating that white lady? You beat that white lady upside her head and put some cartoon out so I ain't have nothing to do with that. That's not my fault. Don't blame me. Go ahead and spill tea. Should I tell you my tea and I can stand tall on my tea? But we want to know why you beat that white lady up and put some cartoon knots on her head. We want to know why you look like Juana man. With A's, that's what we want to know. We want to know why I look like you freaking the bathhouses. This is what we want to know. We want to know why you still a bomb bragging about how much money you make on YouTube. Oh, and the money ain't going to show you. That's what I been. Mean. Boot all did this. Nigga, you going to get dealt with. Nigga, don't fuck with you. Now you done sent me a cease and this his notification. <laughs> Obviously, you didn't do your homework, bitch. You might, you better off telling your kids to go in the candy store and not to touch that, sending me a cease and desist notification. Bitch, you ain't do no research, bitch. I done battled the best of the best, even Hollywood copyright attorneys, bitch. You think you're going to beat me on YouTube? You're going to need all the coins you can get. It don't matter how much or how little you get. You a low vibrational idiot. Fool, you piss out of bottles, Gatorade bottles. You drank Hennessy through a straw. You put white women and their mama out on the streets. 
Just imagine if mahogany was this white woman, and that's a black woman. So if he put a white woman out on the street, put cartoon out on, what he gonna do to a black woman? Tell me a little like hood rat ain't finna pow pow a black woman. Tell me he ain't capable of that. He puts a cartoon out on that white woman's face. And I'm harassing you for pointing out the fact that public records. You can't get me for telling and talking about public records. You can do the same thing to me. But see, I ain't going to deflect nothing. I'm going to stand on top of what I need to stand on top of. And whoever don't like me, don't like me. Fuck that shit, nigga. I'm an evolved human being. I'm from the bottom of the bottom. And ain't nobody ever determined my aptitude. Nigga like hood journalist. Nigga, you can't stop me from talking. This is my first amendment right. Bitch, I'm finna pull Latasha K, print that cease and desist notification out, wipe my ass and make sure some dookie on it and throw it at the goddamn camera. Let me stop. <laughs> You just like uh, uh, Gail Maddox, Mahogany Mama. You threw this white lady out, talking about what you going to do to me like I give a fuck about you sending me a cease and desist notification. Bitch, you threaten me with a good fucking time. Please put some stars in the chat. Let me see if my stars is in the building. Put some stars in the chat. My chat looks so beautiful. I want to see the stars in the chat. Aha, I want to see the gay reptilians because this nigga look like a gay reptilian. You Dennis Robin with A look at have that bitch. Now you up here, boy. Now you up here bragging about what what you do with all that money. Bitch, you look like you on Tooch and Molly and everything. P did it. Be serving them children at them goddamn freak off to get you a scapegoat. Nigga, you playing with the wrong one. Bitch, you will get packed up on this bitch. And I seen the op up, bitch. I seen the fucking op up. A bitch over there fishing for information, acting like he going to be the author of this narrative when you got issues with your own mama, bitch. If you 40 years old and you got braces in your mouth, shut the fuck up when it come to mahogany because you had a mama just like her, bitch. And we got the picture of you hugging your crackhead at mama with them two white men right over there looking like you joining the Illuminati, bitch. And you look like Baby Yoda. Y'all motherfucker think y'all so special. Y'all either look like Baby Yoda, uh, 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 Yoshi from the original Super Mario Brother movie, or uh, uh, whatever. You don't look human. Y'all look like some motherfucking geeks, and y'all mad because I'm the cool kid that can go to the table and take over the geek table. I can take over the jock table. I can take over whatever fucking table I want to, and y'all mad because I'm a chameleon like that. God ain't blessed you like he blessed me. So said Rihanna to Tierra Marie, bitch. I'm Rihanna to you niggas. Fuck you talking about. I'm silencing all y'all goddamn beats. Close your mouth and close your beat. Hood rat talk. You gonna need all the money you can get, bitch. If you think that your cease and desist gonna scare me. Why did you send me a cease and desist? What did I do? I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what did I do to him. Somebody please tell me to check what I did to the nigga. Somebody please tell me. It don't make no sense. For me, poor little old me. Little old me with ain't number 25 subscriber. Make this nigga who got all of this in a goddamn YouTube check and a YouTube plaque that ain't worth shit. Ain't worth two cents just like them goddamn Grammys Beyonce got. They ain't worth a dollar after they been a sketch. Okay, not you sending me a cease and desist notification. All my life I had to fight on YouTube. All my life I had to fight these niggas. I had to fight these, huh? I had to fight everybody on YouTube to make a way for my voice to be heard. And here you come sending me cease and desist notification. So I guess you feel like you the only person that can talk about Mahogany Jackson, what's going on in Birmingham. You got my Auntie Lee Otis. I mean that transgender over there that I'm gonna drag by the Adams Apple stealing my content without giving me credit with a hotline talking about mahogany based on what I'm bringing to the internet. You bringing up cupcake. You bringing up old memories. You bringing up old emotions. The next thing you want everybody in Birmingham to lay down. And the people say, you think you somebody? You think you're gonna be on the internet to take over and control Birmingham content? That's why you want Vito in jail. You're a clout chaser. Boy, don't be playing with me. Bitch, take that goddamn cease and desist notification, you alien versus predator looking bitch, and chew on it. Fuck you talking about, bitch. I know you don't even rank, bitch. I come from Clubhouse. I will drag you for eight hours straight on this bitch without dropping a dime of energy, motherfucker. You will be out of fucking gas, bitch. I will drag you for hell and back, bitch. Not you sent me a cease and desist notification. I ain't did shit to your ugly ass fuck, nigga. What the fuck I did to this nigga? What the fuck did I do to this nigga? I want to know. I, I ain't even intend to talk about this fool. Fuck you talking about. Shout out to Deanna. Thank y'all 
out so much. I appreciate you, Duanna, for that goddamn five memberships gifts. Thank you for the friendships. Thank you for the super chat. Y'all making me feel so special. I greatly appreciate you, Deanna. Can I get some more stars? There's five all-stars. Let me see who them all-stars was. If you're a stalker and block me and my moderators, we're going to post you on the community wall to show how uh, 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 desperate you is about me. And we don't like you. We don't like you at all. We got you blocked, too. I don't know how you over here watching my content. You would never be able to drop an all-star in the chat. Look at them all-stars. Can I get some more all-stars in the chat? I told y'all. Baby, we the all-stars. Okay, let me see who got these memberships. Because, boy, they be thinking they slick. Okay, truth exposed. Welcome. EM, welcome. Faith. E -M. That might not be that one faith. That light skin, my, Latoya Jackson, look at lady that be everywhere, but act like she don't be watching me. That might not be her. Shot time, welcome. TK, welcome. One, two, three, four. That's four people. So, ooh, somebody send me a screenshot. One, two, three, four. No, that's five. That's five. Okay. I'm going to say somebody sent me a screenshot of the person that I can't see so we can put them on blast, how they stalking me, and I don't fuck with them. I told you if you op up, I op out. I'm not mahogany. Okay, if I left you niggas alone yesterday or two years ago, I ain't never finna be back around y'all. And when y'all do see me, y'all gonna think I'm crazy because I want y'all to know that I will bust you in your damn face you play with me again in your life. I told you when it's time for me to book off, it's like Helka and Jai. Y'all Yo, ain't going to see it coming. And I try not to go that way. Can I get some more stars in the chat, please? But somebody, please tell me, why did Vito, not him supposed to solve every murder in Birmingham, like he going to show up to the court case for, for the Birmingham 8. That's what we going to call them, the Birmingham 8, like the Central Park 5. We going to call these bitches the Birmingham 8. And, and probably 10 by the time they go to court. He had like he gonna go over there with a bulletproof vest and he's supposed to walk through because he done made super chassis, super sticker, putting cases on these people and playing with these people's name on the internet. You ain't safe. You ain't. Matter of fact, they gonna dissolve you in some ass if you go to Birmingham. Ain't nobody gonna skip a trace of you. They gonna dissolve you in ass and take your phone and post some bleach on it. Act like you was never around. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing about you. Talking about you taking over these people's city. And I spoke against that. You, who are you? Everybody in Birmingham, if you want your Birmingham news, come to this platform. You're a cloud chaser, bro. Leave them people alone. You don't know nothing about that city. You're a cloud chaser. You done turned this whole Mahogany Jackson thing into something else. You don't care. You are a grift, and I'm going to call you out every chance you get. But I really want to know is why, if you so-called, see, you know, it's easy for him to go and say, he ain't got no plaque. He hate no million. Hi, I'm hating on you. You sent me a cease and desist notification. You know niggas don't follow no instructions. You tell What you tell me to do, I'm going to do the opposite. So since you told me to cease and desist, bitch, we going to run our mouth like a motor. We going to run our mouth like a lawnmower full of gas just right there and ain't nobody using it, bitch. But this bitch going to go for 12 hours if it want to and you ain't going to be able to stop me, bitch. Fuck you talking about You look good and shot Like a you prison ready Hoe ass nigga Take your black ass to jail You gonna go to jail Before I do How about that Since everybody else Going to jail You going to jail Before I do bitch Any mugshot You can pull up Bitch I ain't like Kaya My mugshots are legit It's for busting a nigga And they shit For playing with me So think shit sweet If you won't That's not a threat That's me talking about My real life And they say you the police they say you coming after me because you jealous. How you jealous? You the hood journalist. I'm not hood. I'm in Hollywood. Bitch, I left the hood. I brag about leaving the hood and breaking generational curses. See, you perpetuate generational curses. So me and you is not even the same. So how can you even get the concept to come for somebody like me? You are an antagonist that don't do nothing but perpetuate black on black violence. And all I do is say let's heal and let's move forward. So me and you ain't even the same. And now I see why you look like an extra from True Blood. They done sucked all your goddamn blood out you. You ain't got no mind. You are look. You look like a gay. Can I get some gay lizards in the chat? Bitch, you look like a gay reptilian. I was wondering. I was like, did not. Why do I keep crafting this joke? It started because I was talking about P Diddy and reptilians and the sex parties and shit. But if you ever seen a gay fucking reptilian, look at this bitch right here. You look like a gay reptilian. I don't give a fuck. Bitch, sue me. Bitch, you better have plenty of motherfucking money. Bitch, you just opt up with Dookie Way. That nigga got so many mama problems. I don't even know why he touched him hogging the Jackson Thor, bitch, because you go get packed up.
dope. Y'all bitches are op dope. Then colluded and say, go over here if you want the information. Go over here if you want the information. And it's far fetched, bitch. I'm telling you niggas the truth. Even if you don't like it, bitch, any second y'all niggas can try to cancel me for the shit that I say to y'all. Only by the strength of God am I still here able to give y'all this message. You know how many people want me there? You know how many old people that stuck in them goddamn way that still got them generation of curses on them from the 1920s? Want me on. They don't want me to tell the truth. And you wonder why I'm so passionate about it. I don't mind telling the truth. I have a foster half-sister named Shoni. Sweetheart on the outside. All good. Everything is great. This false image. When I was in Atlanta, Georgia, and Buford, Georgia, living with them, I seen this lady lock her daughter in a cage after she got from school. Go to the school, pick her up. Oh, I love her in front of the white people. Lock her in a cage to where she got to rattle the cage just to use the bathroom because she's so much of a Christian and they got to keep them away from boys. And you can't do that. You can't make the mistake. Leading out of fear, locking their daughters up in cage. You never know what's been going on in somebody's house, what people escape. Look at Carly Russell. She might as well eat some dookie to get out of them charges. Go on, tell the people that your daddy was raping you. Because we're going to talk about how a lot of black women, when they was little girls, they daddies and their uncles and the men around them that were supposed to protect them, mess with them. And guess what else? It happens to the boys, too. We talk about that over here. You trying to indict these people. When half of these people don't care about going in and out of jail, newsflash. When they go to jail over in Alabama, in Birmingham, within a year, they go back to their same cell in the same spot, whoever they, they got to move. Because they be getting down with them sheets over the goddamn bunks at night with each other. And they got to go in jail to live their motherfucking truth. Why you think Blueface is spinning tricks and going to come out painting his nails and shit when he get out of jail? Them niggas go to jail just to live their fucking life. So don't nobody care. About somebody put somebody in jail You need to go to jail You love jail Let's help manifest it for you nigga You love jail With your goddamn sick looking ass bitch Fuck you and a motherfucking cease and sis This is Them niggas should have told you about me Them niggas should have told you not to play with me bitch I will ride you like a choo choo train on this bitch And I will make you blow your goddamn brains out Whole ass nigga fucking with me Don't play with me You think I'm done bitch if you fuck with me, I will ride you for four, five hours straight, motherfucker. And I will create a platform where everybody come up here and tell you to part. You jeepers creeper looking ass bitch. Motherfucker, you the, you the living and breathing and walking dead, bitch. Look like you got COVID times three whole ass nigga. Fuck you talking about. You alien versus predator ass bitch. Don't be sending me no motherfucking shit like that in my fucking email. You asked for war and you asked for the war because a bitch ass nigga already played with me. Told you to do that because he knew exactly how I was going to react. So let's get it. I'm too protected right fucking now. Let's get it. Who you going to take down? I'm the new king in fucking charge. Fuck all y'all niggas. I will run through your sector and dominate it and bounce back and do what the fuck I want to do. Nigga, I'm straight Hollywood. What you're going to do about it? Bitch, I can stand on my shit. What's good and what's next for you? Fuck you talking about. Put my goddamn address on the cease and desist. Go there, bitch. Go there, motherfucker. You think Birmingham bad, bitch? My, my mama from Huntsville, Evergreen, Birmingham, bitch. Your last name, Deborski, which means some white man stuck the dick up some bitch in your motherfucking family who was in love with that white man and give you a last name like Deborski, bitch. My mama made a name Turner. Ain't number some niggas in Alabama named Turner and Jenkins and everybody else related to them, motherfucker. I'm connected to the black diaspora. You, you just a pitiful ass bitch named Deborski. You bitch ass nigga. I guess you want to bleach your skin and look white in this picture because your last name Daborski, you hating ass fuck, nigga. Bitch, you be the white woman. That's why you got to work with the goddamn police, bitch. Me and you is not the same. We got different purposes. And they should have told you not to play with me because I would go nuclear on you. They told you not to play with me. I would go nuclear on you. Mm. Yet again, they, make it, they, they making up rumors. They, they beefing with me. They beefing with me. They trying to take me out, y'all. They're trying to take me out, y'all. I got to get them before they get me. Uh-huh. One second. One second. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Please and thank you. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Greatly appreciate you. But let's introduce ourselves to the real Ratchet TV. Gregory Deborski, the same dude that sent me a cease and desist notification. 
since you said I'm harassing you or defaming you, whatever the fuck you call it, good luck in defining it. Good luck in your case across, bitch. They should have told you not to fuck with me. I'll go straight nuclear on you. But let's see how you treated your baby mama, your wife and kids, how uh, mahogany mothers did her and her friends, okay? You are a detriment to the black motherfucking community, pussy ass nigga. Yeah, that was, oh, yours coming up also. I, I, I called her, so I've been sitting in my car this whole time. I've been sitting there, she's been calling me, texting me, calling me, texting me. I'm like, dude, look, just get out of the house. I gave you enough time. Your mom's here, get out. But I said, just don't let your mom go inside my house. That's it. She can go, you can go to stuff inside, do it. Don't let her go in my house. Oh my gosh, thank y'all so much. I'm just realizing it, okay? Thank y'all so much for the memberships. Please. Please keep the memberships coming. Let me make sure everything is cool and copacetic. All right. Please, please, please keep the memberships coming um, to support this channel. And if you did, in fact, get a membership, please pay it for it. Thank you so much. Too hot to handle. Hot, Thank hot, you for hot, the Greatly Thank appreciate you. Thank you for the making me feel so Thank you, Francesca, too, as well. I greatly appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you for the super channel. Y'all making me feel so special. I'm, I'm not in the freezing cold. I got to go to work. I still got all my stuff in that house. Okay, cool. You have an hour to get all your stuff out. Your mom's here. Just don't let your mom go in my house. That's the only thing I said. And I had it all recording. I said to her, she's trying to chase her mom down. I didn't want to decide all the recording. I said, hey, ma'am, so, go in my house. Stay out here and you get everything you need. Just do not walk inside my house. So this is the man that's speaking and acting like he has care for mahogany and sovereign crime and case against mahogany. When he has his wife and baby mama and her, his mother-in-law outside kicking all of them out, the kids, the mama, everybody, all because he wanted the daughter to come in there by herself without the mother so he can mind fuck her, so he can probably pull the pow pow on her, stick it to her head and do something, you know, what these boys do all around the world. So this is him kicking his kids, his wife, everybody out of the house. Mind you, Mahogany, she was essentially kicked out of her house because her mother called this disturbance and then told her she can't come to her house. All because she was mad for what? So this dude is perpetuating the same type of harm and violence against not only his wife, but his kids who are not in a position to defend themselves. what kind of man is this got a dispute with his wife and kid and telling the wife to get out and the kids he want to be in there he want to sleep he don't care about nobody and this is why some people believe men are incapable of love he don't love her. He can't even. If he don't, he definitely don't love no black woman. Look how he treating the white woman. He'll be in a killing a black woman, cause you know black women ain't gonna take nothing like this. She gonna be like, what? You get out. Me and the kids gonna stay here. This white girl. Oh, please don't kick me out. He just dogging her, bro. That's crazy. You see what she's saying? This is how the police ignore women complaints. And I thought it was just white, black women. Look, this is the white woman. He beat me the other day. There's a police report. If he beat her the other day and there's a police report, why was he able to stay in the house? 
Why was he able to stay in the house? Then you supposed to get out. That's a domestic dispute. She just filed the police report. The police is not taking her serious because he worked with the police. He's a CI. He has to turn evidence over other dudes in the community. So it's beneficial for the police to listen to him to make sure he's good so that their job is easier when it comes to the other criminals and stuff. And this woman got to suffer because of that type of relationship. Follow me. This is hood journalism since you want to be the hood journalist. Look, he got these women clothes. Everything in baskets just pulled out there with the police, his buddies, who he's been working with, who he brag about working with on YouTube. And it's indisputable. You going to jail. I'm going to send this to the police. I'm connected to the police in Birmingham. I'm connected to the police in Chicago. I'm connected to the police in L.A. I'm connected all over here. Well, please get ready. Get ready because I'm a part of something way bigger than you and the police. Police, listen to me. That's the problem. That's the difference between me and you. You ain't got no psychological power with these white folk. You just fool. They gonna throw you out there with the fools because you ain't number the goddamn dog, bitch. Go eat lunch and dinner and start playing with me because you look interested and like you sick. <laughs> bitch, that's how I'm gonna do you if you roll up on me. <laughs> y'all think I'm so funny I'm like why y'all think I'm so funny I don't be understanding it I just be telling the truth And look at this! Look at this overweight Italian woman. She can't even use her white woman culture, caring privilege, or nothing. He got these police in his back pocket. The way he sniffs so much, he can get rid of Karens. He can evict Karens illegally. Can't no police. First of all, let me tell you how I know they working together. Any legitimate police that has no interest in the parties is gonna say you can't evict her. You got to go to court to evict her. What do you mean? All her stuff is right here. It was in the apartment. You violating landlord tenant rights. She moved in here. She became a sublet. Do she have a piece of mail? They ain't never asked her if she had a piece of mail or not. Because he worked with them. They know him. He on payroll. His payroll is a get out of jail free. But bitch, we telling you don't pass code and do not collect 200 more cash apps or super chat because you a fuck nigga. You got to get out of jail free card on YouTube. And you got to get out of jail free card in real life. And we're going to stop it on YouTube. The buck stop here. Because even if a nigga support you and send you $10,000 a month, you still going to look like you got that virus. And you still going to look like a poor ass nigga pissing through Gatorade bottles and drinking Hennessy through a straw. Bitch, you better start the dialogue before I hit car and buy your catalog. Where's your body at? Can you verify the uh, serial number? I, I understand that. But because they're married, they're living together like they're married. It's a civil issue, okay? She's gonna have to take him to court if she wants to recover that. And we we talked about yeah, that. I didn't okay. know she was just. I was I just wondering if she was in law to call the contract and verify yeah. that she bought it. You know? I don't know. That'll help her at the civil court, obviously. Y'all so goofy. <laughs> What needs to happen, but mm -mm. Lord, I can just smell the roaches on the goddamn clothes. You might well throw that shit away. Roach eggs, lice, all that shit is in them clothes. The the fucking crack cocaine that he done stuck and all that shit is in there. Oh, that shit is in They should have went up in there and they wouldn't have found nothing but a TV and some motherfucking drug and some bent teaspoons in that goddamn apartment. All oh, these people go in the goddamn apartment. I want to see what's in there. K 
Can I get some more likes, please? I know y'all enjoying the content, but get some more likes. And tells YouTube you want to see me talk about more of mahogany and it up, nigga, over here and everything. Else. Mm -mm. Oh, and shout out to Hip Hop News TV. That's where I get this from. Lord, he got this white lady picking up her bags with no car, nowhere to go, no nothing. She gonna end up on the side of the road somewhere. He don't care. His alibis, they left. He probably told his homeboys to go down the road and do something. I probably did it himself. He the type. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all gotta watch the up, nigga. Hold on, this, this is this is recent, but it don't matter if it's recent. He did this. This is his character. They said it's a whole black woman that went missing in Mississippi. And he had something to do with it. Just look what he doing to her, leaving her and the kids unprotected and the mother unprotected. They evicted this woman illegally, and the police helped him. Mm, 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 mm. Where is he? Dang, she. Mm, 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 mm. That's crazy. He just went and evicted them people. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, listen. How you. Listen, I ain't. That's so immoral. I mean, I can see if you did something one time and it was a mistake and you can justify it, but you the type that where you just don't feel like even justifying who you is you know and it's like it's crazy because according to law technically this is not and i i don't obviously he didn't do his research don't tell me that nigga over there with the mama problems and the braces in his mouth as a 40 year old man then told you to do this fuck shit to, what they already defeated bitch send the whole machine up up i don't give a fuck how many people up up say whatever i can stand on me it ain't going to help you. It ain't going to do you no good. And then y'all going to realize that all of these YouTube content creators, they treated me the same way Mahogany Friends treated Mahogany on YouTube. All of my moderators, all of my people, A1 Day 1s, even old moderators and old people that support me, they quiet. They don't know what to say and do. So you want to op up and you want to bring a machine against me and you want to try to tear me down, bitch, I'm ready for you because I'm going to do it for all the motherfucking misfits that's used to fuck niggas like you that's hating because it started from within. It started from the home, nigga. And I don't fuck with niggas like that and I don't fuck with no shit like that and fuck any bitch that supports you because you think like that, nigga. How a nigga going to talk about mahogany? How you going to talk about mahogany? You got your own mom problems, let, let alone you calling a mentally ill, disabled person to op up and coach him to say that his mama did some stuff to him. And now he don't remember because you took advantage of somebody mentally ill to paint a picture about somebody mama. What are you talking about? Nigga, y'all, you better be solid with your mama issues before you talk about mahogany go a different direction don't come over here you might as well go with the game banging related shit to get your head blown off because them niggas in birmingham ain't playing with y'all them niggas in birmingham ain't playing with y'all y'all gonna get fucked up playing with them niggas in birmingham and ain't got shit to do with it i got family all through birmingham everywhere castleberry everywhere i love walking in piggy the wiggles without a nigga looking over my shoulder okay 
I, that's my family. That's my people in that area. I know these people, so I can speak to them. I know how they are. I know how they stuck in the 1920s because they, they, they didn't leave during the Great Mike. I know that. I know all of that. And that's where I'm speaking from. You cannot compete with that because you don't have that life experience. What about the soft ass niggas who left Alabama and went to Missouri and their mama got on crack? Your mama on crack. I, I, I said your mama on crack and passed through. Oh, how you going to talk about a car? Uh, how you going to talk about this over here? You need to handle your own mama issue or be able to sit on them. Period. But anyway, let me get back to this. I, somebody pinched me. Sweet dream of a beautiful nightmare. Somebody pinch me. Don't tell me this nigga gave me this clout. Nigga, why would you send me a cease and desist? <laughs> it's like he can't be serious. Bro, if you need to talk and if you feel like I'm doing something to hurt your little feelings or whatever, I, I apologize, but we can talk. I can do a whole live stream and you can come and click my link and I can show you what it means to be respectful. Because when you was talking about Vito and I thought you were cool and Vito was grifting, I highlighted that you took my knowledge and what I was saying out of the chat to substantiate what was going on on your platform. You an event planner, sir. You need people to click your link. And I will never click your link again because you disrespected me. I clicked your link and I told you we need to focus on the bigger issue, the solution instead of the problem. You dropped me because you was jealous. And you dropped me because you know you wanted to promote gang-related activity and act like you were going to take over Birmingham and you a nigga on the computer. Look like this. This this how this nigga look. How a nigga like that going to take over Birmingham? Birmingham, y'all niggas is soft. You let a bitch-ass nigga like that even play with y'all over the internet. I ain't even from Birmingham. Y'all nigga cheered me on and packed this nigga up. How y'all going to be led by a bitch-ass nigga? Put some gay lizards in the chat. Y'all put them goddamn gay lizards and some stars in the chat. Bitch, we going to send you back to the Draco star system where you belong. You Jeep, you lizard looking motherfucker. We going to send you back. We going to, God is calling you home, bitch. Your T cells gone, your blood vessel, all of this stuff, boy. I can't believe you even breathing. You look like you hospice ready. Okay, and I hope it be some people listening to some type stuff over there. Put that thought there. Hold, get on up out of here. You look like you wear a diaper because you whatever you got, you can't even hold your goddamn bottles. Is that why you had to piss in them Gatorade bottles? No. Hmm. Ain't that why you beat on women? White women at that with them cartoon knots upside that woman's head. Should I show that? Because I showed it the other day. What is your actual grievance? Please tell me what did I say? That got you in your feelings to where you got to listen. Not ratchet hood talk. I ain't never know a nigga that represent the whole hood going to send me a cease and desist notification like I done hurt his feelings. Not you. See, that's the difference between a conspiracy theorist and a real ass nigga that know how to roast. Mm, 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 mm. Go on, dox me. Do it all. It's all been done, bitch. I'm going to laugh with you. I'm going to pick at myself with you, too. And that's what you can't do. You still ain't told us why you beat that white lady, that same white lady that you put out your house, uh, and the police didn't tell you you can't put her out because she lived there and this is all her belonging. You need to go to court to do that because you work with the motherfucking police. You work with the police everywhere you go. Bitch, you, you connected to an FBI federal agent that Vito is connected to. So when you tell niggas Vito going to jail because of you, you want to paint it like he got something to do with Cupcake, but you report other petty shit. Because you'll snitch. You're going to be a police for the rest of your life, bitch. If they select the niggas to be the police like they did the Matrix and want to put that goddamn gay reptilian in their stuff and soul, that's what they done did to this fuck nigga. He got to put the gay reptilians in the chat. Little itty bitty boy by the ass, bitch. How you a grown ass man sending me a motherfucking cease and desist? Bitch, you done took me to the candy shop. Bitch, I'm finna pick up everything in that motherfucker hole. You know who you playing with with a cease and desist? Bitch, <laughs> that nigga said, "Whoever set you up, thank them." And I do believe it's that nigga that can, that you that nigga that teeth was so fucking long and spread apart until you about thirty years old. Motherfucking teeth was so spread it apart you can kick a two thousand and twenty four field goal at the Super Bowl in his motherfucking mouth. Bitch, don't play with me. Go on, op up. I told y'all op up and I op out. I don't give a fuck about y'all. Don't be calling me. I ain't your motherfucking friend. You not my motherfucking friend either, bitch. But how you gonna send me a cease to this notification? <laughs> Whose man 
man is this? Come get this nigga. Come get this nigga. Bitch, I'm going to show you the good of the South. Bitch, I can roast you for 13, 12, 24 hours straight if I want to, motherfucker. How you going to send me? Let me see what he said in this ESCS, CSC, cease and desist notification. This fuck nigga. Oh. Cease and desist letter. First of all, it's not even formatted properly. I'm in the state of California. There are certain procedures and codes that this has to be legitimized. And then after that, I got 30 days to cease and desist if I wanted to. And after that, you could file a lawsuit against me. Mm -hmm. And because your only claim is harassment, that means you got to file a lawsuit in California. And when you show up to a motherfucker's trial court date in California, them niggas going to be ready for you. Because you don't know who I'm gonna, you don't know who you playing with, nigga. Bitch, who you don't know who you play with. I can call any nigga that you can name in LA right now if I wanted to and cuss them out and talk to them worse than I'm talking to you. Cause niggas fuck with me and niggas love me because I'm that real. Not you sending me a season this is another fake. What I did to you? What the fuck I did to you for this season this is notification? You breaking my heart. This nigga to sent me a season this is notification. <laughs> like I give a fuck, bitch. What this shit say? March 13, 2024. The not Rickets. This bitch gonna put an address, bitch. Let me tell you something. The address that you put on that mother. Go, go. I told you, my people from Alabama, bitch. I told you, bitch. I ain't, go and see if you buy it, buy it, bitch. You a gay lizard. Ain't nobody swimming for you, but some desperate, thirst ass bitches that wanna be seen because you got a big eye to sell you too, bitch. And I guarantee you, my dick bigger than yours. My dick bigger than yours and go long and far in the year, bitch. And I can touch the rainbow if I wanted to, motherfucker. And you mad, bitch. You finna go to jail. I'm gonna make sure you go back over there with your boyfriend. Make sure I find a big ass bubble. The fuck yeah, little dude ass. With your low T cell having ass. Your ass probably ain't even on the market. Don't nobody want that shit you got. Fuck, nigga. This bitch that sent me. Can I get some motherfucking stars and gay lizards in the chat? This nigga that sent me. This some motherfucking cease and desist. How long should I go off on this nigga? Please send me a cat. Y'all, how long should I go off on this nigga? See, I ain't worried about getting paid for mahogany Jackson, but bitch, if nigga want me to pack you up, I'm gonna pack you up. Hit my cash out, bitch. I done told you, bitch, you got too many out. I got ops too. Go ahead and do your big one. But at the end of the day, I got the right to say, y'all niggas and y'all content creators on YouTube have treated me like how they did mahogany Jackson. And everybody know it. Everybody, everybody. Just keep that in mind when they go to talking that shit about me. Fuck you talking about? I'm involved. I made mistakes and I apologize and I move forward. If you still stuck on that, bye. Bye. Get up on my face. You might well be trapped in a generation of curse like Carly Russell and Mahogany Jackson. What this shit said? Reese, cease and desist from harassment. How did I harass you? What applicable law are you operating under? You operating under your law, Texas? California, what, what's the applicable law? Which court is you trying to summons me in? Because this right here, you done threatened me with a lawsuit, and I told you, you might well take your kids to the candy store and tell them not to touch them if you threaten me with a lawsuit. Dear the not Rickets, I am writing you this letter to document a period of harassment I received from you starting March 13, 2004. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. I'm trying to be serious. I can't believe this bitch that sent me some shit like <laughs> Wait, oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Deanna. I greatly appreciate you for the gay lives and the gay reptilian up here. Thank you so much. Yes, we definitely gonna pack this motherfucker on. Thank you so thank much. You for this super thank chat you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Yes, y'all making me feel special for packing this ET go phone home. Look at bitch, your finger broke. You look like if you phone home, bitch. Matter of fact, hold on, let me look at this picture again. Let me look one more motherfucking time. This bitch look like Lord Voldemort. Tell me this motherfucker don't look like Lord Voldemort. Mm hmm. You think who you playing with, bitch? I'm gonna I I I, I don't feel near enemy or none y'all got going on, none y'all cooking. They done sent you on a dummy mission, is what the fuck they done did. Tell my I am writing you this letter to document a appearance of harassment I received from you starting March 13, 2024. Such conduct has caused me to suffer severe humiliation, embarrassment, and emotional distress and 
physical discomfort. Not me. Not bitch. Not don't tell me I got in your heart, your balls, your bones, your soul, nigga. Don't tell me that physical discomfort. Am I in your head so far the way you gotta jack off thinking about me and that? Is that what you trying to tell me? What kind of physical discomfort I put you in, bitch? I ain't touch you. How did I put you in physical discomfort? Yo, dick standing up right now, looking at the nigga like me. Go on, tell it. And sashay away, bitch. Um, harassment. I want you to stop spreading false. Rumors before I take legal action. What false rumors I said? You said out your own mouth you want Vito in jail to take over Alabama drummer. You said that out your own mouth. I ain't said nothing different than what you said. So how you gonna hold me accountable for harassment? Bro, you can click I can make a whole live stream and you can click a link. Cause evidently anybody that click your link, you being disrespectful. So as long you got people from Birmingham telling you, bro. Stop it. You playing these street code games and people are listening to you not because they like you, but you got a big audience and you're, you're abusing that fact to push bullshit ass content for clicks and views and shit can get ugly. They're telling you to stop. So I can't come to your platform. You too dangerous. You had Jaguar right on your platform. Then the next day you flipped out on them. You had Vito on your platform. Then the next day you switched out on them. I had some other content creators about you. They said, oh yeah, he played at 50. He going to have you up there. Then he going to switch on, on you the next day. Nigga, I was just in your chat. And you flipped out on me the next day. I ain't, you like, what the fuck? You, you crazy. Something is seriously wrong with you. I don't fuck. You need to go take your medicine. And I ain't talking about just the HIV pill that you take, bitch. And make sure you eat because you can't take that water on the empty stomach. And it look like you've been missing so many meals. Give a fuck about how much money you make on YouTube. What you do with that, you crack it. Anyways, I demand that you cease and desist from this activity as soon as possible. In any event, within zero days from the receipt of this letter, if you do not take action to cease and desist within this given time frame, I will have no choice but to take the appropriate legal actions. Child. <laughs> um, There's a survey out there. Let me see what y'all said in the survey. Because I said, do y'all want me to leave this fuck nigga alone? Because, see, I like the opinion of people that's around me. And I like getting their opinions. So, I have a survey. I have a survey out there. It says, should I give Ratchet TV a chance? And I do mean a chance to escape these jokes. Bitch, these jokes going to feel like cartoon knots. That's why you feel like I got physical contact with you. Bitch, we going to beat you up with these jokes because you ain't number the fuck nigga you need to be put in your place. That's not actionable. The court going to say you a fuck nigga and they see how you put them cartoon knots on side of that woman's head. So a nigga like me running my mind putting them cartoon knots on you. Matter of fact, bitch, cartoon knots. We taking it to a whole new level. We talking about Goku turning ultra instinct when he fought a uh, 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 J-Run cartoon knots so on your motherfucking ass. Bitch, you need these cartoon knots because you been doing the most fuck shit and running your goddamn dick sucker. Close your fucking beak, you sick looking bird. Look at him. Don't he look like a sick toucan sick? <laughs> Bitch, I will ride you to hell and back. Talking about a season this is notification. Not you. Girl, they should have told you don't play with me. It's the niggas that you want to cover mahogany Jackson like it's new information. It's these niggas that, that I done packed up for seven, eight months. They ain't tell you. They didn't tell you not to fuck with me. Oh, it's just a coincidence. He talking shit about behind. If I was roasting Gail, what make you think I ain't finna roast you? What make you think anybody ain't finna pro? You got me messed up. We gonna get to it. Now go and go back to your do what do your best. Dox me. Yes, I'm bisexual. Yes, I'm in Hollywood. Okay, yes, whatever they said. Yes, when I was 18, I lit my sister up because she hit me for the last time in her motherfucking life. My sister beat me up every day since we were little children. And when I turned 18, I lit her ass back up because she hit me. Yes, I got that mug shot in 2008. What's next? And no, I don't regret it because my sister ain't never put her motherfucking hands on me. But I ain't no grown ass man beat no people children and evicting nobody. I ain't got none of that. All of my mug shots you can pull up if I fucking a fuck nigga like you up. And that's on some real ass shit, nigga. You better do your homework, bitch. I will run up on you. Believe that. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. And yes, I went to jail for practicing law without a license, which means that I know too much law for you to even come at me. And then if you look at the case in Highlands County Court, it's public records, you can pull it up. The reason I went to jail is because the police or my fuck nigga brother-in-law and his new girlfriend and them killed my sister. And I did the best thing that I knew how to do to protect my sister. 
Sis like Mahogany Jackson. Don't nobody in my family give a fuck like me. We come from different clothes. So go ahead. What else next? What's next for you, though? And yes, I like them thick. What's next for you, though? Ho, it's tax season. You kick that thick white lady. And I bet you wish you had it because it's tax season. You want her to pay her weight. Anyways, uh, please hit the like. Please hit the like. I can't believe I'm still surprised that this nigga really fucking put that shit in. Uh, oh, oh, my goodness. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, Deborah, so much for the super chat. I greatly appreciate you. Please keep the money train coming. Thank you, That's all that nigga Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Deborah. Y'all making me feel so good. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's me. I greatly Thank appreciate you. Thank you, Thank you, Deborah. Y'all making me feel so special. So I'm still trying to figure out, you know, because, uh, you know, y'all want to know, you know, I'm not even going to do it. I haven't, you know, Ratchet TV, he's a big fish, but he's still a small fry. Word to Nikki. Now I know what that means. You a big fish. You got a big audience. You get super chats. You get, okay, great. But you still a small fry to me. I'm talking about your weight. If you want to do some, we can do it. We can take it out. You got to run to the courts. You done went to the police by veto, and now you run into the courts about me. Man, it's the internet. Oh, I'm going to make a police report say did not threaten me. It's not credible. You were in Houston, and I'm in L.A. I'm telling you. And this ain't a motherfucking threat. This a promise, bitch, nigga. Why you put my address on shit? You come anywhere near me, your head going to get peeled the fuck back, fuck, nigga. You want to serve me in the court documents, you better get the law enforcement to do it. Anybody that you sit their head going to get peeled back for playing with me because I feel threatened and I'm scared for my motherfucking life. Fuck, nigga. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you where that motherfucking Alabama blood in my motherfucking veins. Whole ass nigga. You probably don't even know how to do. You, you just like Donna Glover on This Is America. Don't let you chip it up. Don't let you stick it up with the arch in your goddamn back. Fuck, nigga. Bitch. Who you think you fucking with? This nigga got me mad I hold that whole docket And I been talking about this nigga For about an hour straight And I'm mad How you gonna play with me With a season <laughs> Y'all listen <laughs> Okay let me take Let me go to the survey Cause I gotta move on Fuck this shit Okay Fuck this bitch ass nigga Okay This nigga don't know Like bro You can hit Listen if you want hour straight And I'm mad um, Ratchet Hood Talk, if you want. <laughs> um, Jeepers Creepers, if you want to have a conversation and act like adults, we can do that. But all that, I'm going to bring you up and embarrass you in front of the audience. I ain't got time for that. You might as well opt up, bitch. I done opt out of everybody. Motherfucker, you know, your man's that called me trying to ask me for his help with Mahogany Jackson. And I denied him, rudely denied that motherfucker because I had to sue him and he had to spend $10,000 in court. You better do research on me, sir. A cease and desist notification <laughs> is like taking me to the Kansas, though, bitch. I look and, and look for opportunity to practice law, you muck-ass nigga. Okay? And you make me a defendant in any case. Please believe that any amount of money that you made on YouTube in the past motherfucking eight years that you've been here, you know you're going to have to spend it in court fucking with me, right or wrong. I'm that lethal. So if you want to box or anything like that, we can make this a show. You the hood ratchet doctor. Okay? Let's see you in the boxing ring. Let's see you get punched in the head and your ass be tooted in there because I'm a fine, good-looking nigga and you want me to fuck you. That's why you said that I'm physically harassing you. Fuck, nigga. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck your mama. Fuck everything that you got going on. You are a nigga that's drinking Hennessy through a straw and pissing in Gatorade bottles for children to drink it. You are a hug, nigga. You don't deserve no platform and I don't give a fuck about your platform and what you got. You came out to me. You sent me a cease and desist notification. I ain't sent you no cease and desist notification. How you going to be the hood ratchet journalist? Now you got to journalize for the rest of your hood ratchet career. Why you sent a nigga that can roast a cease and desist notification? You a bitch. Ugh. Get this motherfucking patient, bulk, lizard, men in black, alien looking bitch off of my motherfucking screen. Fuck you talking about, whole ass nigga. <sighs> um, 
<laughs> Child, y'all, I want y'all to know I don't be knowing half the shit that I be saying. I just be going old. And I know a lot of information and I use it. That's it. Um, running to the principal hood. Child, I always run to the principal, bitch. You might you got me fucked up. Fuck you talking about. I'll fuck my principal, literally. <laughs> Uh, hey, what's up? He looked like RuPaul. He do look like RuPaul. Sicker than a motherfucking dog. How he embarrassed anyone? He has his chart. He had his chance when he phoned home. Right. Um. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Appreciate the super chat, super stickers, everything coming in. Let's keep the money train thank going. You thank you for the super chat. Are y'all making me feel so Show. absolutely and i appreciate you let me read this message i subscribed a few days ago your sincerity and care reporting about mahogany is awesome i can't lie though past few minutes have been epic laughing to i can't breathe thank you <laughs> i appreciate listen like um that's that's one thing rule number one don't um get to not mad it's not safe for you Leave him alone. That's that's just your bad. Leave him alone. Let him do his thing. Ignore him because he ain't going to stop. Okay? Like I told you. <laughs> ain't no stopping. You might as well just go and do what you do. And, you know, everybody have their downside. And you guys probably hear different narratives and whatever at some point. Uh, make sure you hide that person's channel by clicking the three dot and hide the channel because the bigger picture here is we're talking about the liberation of black people on a uh, black on black crime level, on a spiritual level um, in the context of breaking generation of curses. I've not seen any political leader or civil rights leader actually focus on break exposing, talking about and removing generational curses from people. And I think I'm the guy to do that. I've had to remove my own. I, I still got my own demons I battle with, so I'm not a perfect human being. So with that imperfection, I'm here to tell you guys, we need to break these black generation of curses, okay? And if I got to make you laugh while conveying my message, I'm going to do that because that's the best way to do it. Y'all know that. Um, no, don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. He funny. Who? Me? What did I do? Oh, okay. You're answering the survey. Okay. So, so far... Okay, should I give Ratchet TV a chance? Okay, my camera's uh, blowing out. Y'all go ahead and take that survey, please, and thank you. Um, I'm going to fix my camera. All right, so I fixed my camera. Y'all know I hate production flaws. <laughs> but anyways, hey, hey, he embarrassed. That's why he sent it. What is he embarrassed about? I didn't say, what did I do to him? Every time I look at him, all I think about, toot that thing, go, oh, uh, uh, bro. Like, I, literally, you want a box, bro? That's how I mean. You want a box, bro? Come and get your head boxed in, bro. Just don't scratch me because I ain't no telling what you got, bro. Otherwise, uh, yeah. Anyways. Appreciate you guys. Yes, I greatly appreciate y'all for, uh, you know, supporting the channel. Supporting me regardless of what I'm talking about. Please continue to hit the like. How many likes I got? Um, And by the way, everything I say is improv. Y'all going to remind me of what I said before I remember. It's been that way. I, <laughs> I probably got more jokes than anybody. Um, oh. All right, so uh, yeah, let's move forward. Mm hmm. I'm saying. So, Blueface Mama Carlissa and Tokyo Tony decided to have a twerk off on Baddies Wild. First of all, based on what Tokyo Tony said, I was expecting her and Carly to actually fight. Tokyo Tony is not about that life. She's not going to fight, she's not going to bust a grape. The only person she rushed at was Black China, and they say Black China scroll up the ground with her. Carly ain't gonna do nothing but talk. We seen Chris Sean beat the ass out of her and her goddamn daughter. So what are you talking about? I expected Tokyo Tony and Carly to fight. 
You know, isn't that the brand of baddies? Oh, we too old to be fighting. Well, you too old to be twerking. You too old to be dropping it low. You too be old to be selling your bath water that smell like fart with some roses in it. Tokyo Tony on OnlyFans. This right here is senior citizens doing too much. Tokyo Tony and Carlissa is exactly why TikTok need to be banned. Ain't nobody upholding y'all. I hate the fact that we live in 2024 where somebody like me back in 2013 looking to become a content creator had to actually work hard for what we wanted. Work hard for our position in the industry. Compete, audition. You got Reese's Tees, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. You got all of these people out here thinking that they can become famous just because they can twerk or affiliated with this person with absolutely no valuable talent at all. That's why you got somebody like Ratchet TV think he can start a live stream and just get people to click his link to substantiate him and spread the, his rest of his life creating conspiracies about people. You can't do that. It lacks integrity. It lacks any and all things that is consistent upon creativity. It's BS. It's garbage. It's roach-like material. So, you know, uh, I feel the same way about Zeus Network totality. I feel like it's bad. I feel like it's pointless. I feel like it's detrimental. That's how I feel about it, okay? What happened to I have to go to an audition to compete against so many other people? To pick up a script and learn how to read dialogue and step into another character. Now the ultimate characteristic of a black person is fighting. Being on reality TV exploitation. And we're talking about fixing this culture. They got something called cultural enrichers going on right now. While we're worried about Mahogany Jackson and talking about what we can do to improve our community, it's always in opposition. And that's why I'm going so hard talking about Mahogany Jackson. The opposition is mainstream media, Elon Musk and all of them, want to bring about this notion of cultural enrichers, mostly black and brown people who are standing up for a cause um, against another culture or another race or some people that are just acting wild and crazy it broke my heart to see a group of black boys about 15 of them jumping on this random white boy jumping on his head doing all of this terrible things to him and i was like wow maybe we need another crime bill i literally said that to myself maybe we need another crime bill and then you think about this 15-year-old who looks like a linebacker fighting this skinny white girl and they're out there and, and it looks like a fair one-on-one -on -one fight and suddenly she's a criminal. She's a thug because she got the best of the girl and banged her head to the ground. I come from the school of, hey, if you mess with me, I'm finna take it all the way there. I don't care because you can't fight. You shouldn't mess with me. Don't pinch me because if you pinch me, I'm gonna lay you out. Don't throw a grain of salt at me because I'm going to take that grain of salt, melt it down to some grass, and aim it straight at your heart. Don't throw a pebble at me because I'm going to find a building and throw it at you. So it looked fair, but now they're charging this teenager who is 15, 16 year old with a deadly crime and want to charge her as an adult for banging this girl's head on the sidewalk at 15 years old. So the far right right now is advocating for harsher punishments of people. Joe Biden is bringing all the immigrants in. It's going to be hard to get them out. Where are we going to put them? Oh, we might as well replace them with the black people. Put the black people in jail how they've been doing. They even got this cultural wrench bit going on to where they say they're seeing black people's mug shot and they're classified as white interview individuals. When did we ever see that? They are spinning all kind of narratives. Trump got some kind of machine going on because he wants a police state. He wants the police to look at black people as super criminals. And this is an extension of the 94 crime bill. Even though Trump don't like Joe Biden, he's about to put an extension on the 94 crime bill if he becomes a president. And we know Joe Biden's going to do the same thing. This is why they want black people to look like super predators and super criminals instead of somebody sophisticated, educated, or can be somebody in society. And yet again, we got Zeus Network promoting it. <sighs> Swear to God, that's the devil. Um, and speaking of promoting black people to look and feel a certain way, um, you know, you know, you guys know that I'm from Florida. So I'm from Florida. I'm from a small town in Florida called Lake Placid, which is in Highlands County. 
And Broward County is not too far from me. And there was a Broward County police officer who was going viral for creating a TikTok-like video with a suspect who allegedly stole a car. Some viewers believe is racist, while others think it's a creative way to convince people not to break the law. So let's play this, and I will give you guys content on it, okay? This is coming from the state of Florida in Broward. St. Lucie County Sheriff Keith Pearson, Franklin Sanders, and his juvenile companion thought they were going to come through St. Lucie County with the stolen vehicle with the Broward Task Force on their tail ain't happening although this is an m5 and it's super fast we got the scat pack out hey what'd you think good yeah no comment although this car hit speeds of 160 miles an hour the scat pack took them down we want to say shout out to the broward county sheriff's office osceola county sheriff's office indian river county sheriff's office for making sure we put this bad guy behind bars where he belongs yep. so it is racist and i'm gonna tell you why it's not racist because they always using black people as an example for what they do to say, if you do this, this is what it means when white people commit the same crimes. In fact, look at a white person like uh, Dylan, what, not Dylan Roof, but it was another Dylan in Tulsa, Oklahoma, who was pulled over by the police. Ain't no telling what he did. He could have stole the car. He could have did anything. The police tussled with him. They pepper sprayed him. It didn't work. They beat him with a crowbar. It didn't work. They tased him. It didn't work. And then before they can even extend it, as if they didn't want to, pulling a pow pow, he pulled their pow pow and sprayed them. So we got to look at those things from tragic accidents. We never get white police officers using what white people do as an example not to commit crime. It's always a black person. It's not just Broward County. It's Polk County, Grady. Grady, they say Grady is like, <laughs> they say Grady got had on a pair of pink thongs on a goddamn Harley Davis eating some uh, vanilla white cake. That's what they say Grady did. And he's the sheriff that want to embarrass all these black people. Oh, look at even the, the city police of Lake Placid. See me advocate for my family, asking them to do their job to investigate the death of my sister. And now I got to sue them. And now they want to, they didn't want to arrest me for getting them to do their job. They don't care about black people. They only care about seeing black people in a negative light. That's the only time they spend resources. So, of course, it's racist. You done went viral on TikTok for being a hillbilly redneck sitting up there with that police uniform. And I seen the shadows in the print of that goddamn KKK hat he had on when he did what he did. So, yes, it was racist. Please hit the like. What do you guys think about that? Um, I call people what they do, uh, tragedy pimps. Say it again. I just like tune in what's on with the Ratchet TV. Oh, you're going to have to go back. I got a full doctor content. Okay, I'm not like him, like a loser that need to stay on the same thing for months and months and can't expand point of views. I'm not like that. I'm not that content creator. And I'm definitely not the content creator who need to grip you of time, emotions, and intelligence. But anyways, um, you know, so yeah. Here in 2024, you got Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, Donald Trump, and even Joe Biden, vicariously though, would rather like to believe that race don't exist. They want to get rid of the HBCUs. They want to get rid of the equal employment opportunities. I remember when C all of these Hollywood corporations fired all of the black women that was ahead of the diversity departments when the Supreme Court made a decision in uh, Comcast versus Allen, where Byron Allen basically made it harder for people to sue based on racial practices. So it's harder for us to get a job. It's harder for us to call racism in the court of law because of that. But as a black person who believes in building economic wealth, White people want to look at us and say, hey, it's reverse racism if you want to be the head of a company and only want to hire black people when there's far less opportunities for us. And even in the white man's world, when they meet their diverse quota of hiring one of us, we are made to feel inferior and uncomfortable. We can't even be ourselves. We got to juck and jive. How many of y'all mothers and aunties raised her boss and he want to grab at her as an older woman? She got to deal with that. Come home. OK, and this is how black women divested first. But that's another story. But just imagine you being someone black and have your own company and you post about it, you brag about it, and you look at it like it's a prideful thing and have somebody like Elon Musk who says that you are racist because you are a successful black woman who chooses to only work with black people. I have a team of 21 right now uh, for Validate. It's a pretty big team. It's a crazy big team for indie games. But who is your team? Validate has a team of mostly people mostly all people of color. We have no white people on our team. Um, I did that because I wanted to create a safe environment. 
And I know the best way for an environment to be safe is to be around people who are just like me. Um, and I'm not saying that white people in the industry are creating safe, unsafe environments. I'm not saying that. That is not what I'm saying. I am saying that sometimes it is hard to work with white people because they think that something made okay, but it was really a microaggression. And no one wants to deal with that while they're trying to make a game that they love. I have a team of 21 right now. Um, I say there's nothing wrong with it, but because I say there's nothing wrong with her ideology, who's to say there's something wrong with the white man for saying I only want to work with white people as well? So does racism exist or does it not? And if racism don't exist, reverse racism can't exist. And keep in mind, the Supreme Court recently overturned affirmative action, so they're already working on this notion of racism not existing. I remember I was on Clubhouse earlier. We was talking about mahogany. We was talking about what's going on. And we was talking about how the black girl who basically smashed the girl's head and, oh, she should get the death penalty. And it was all about race. It had nothing to do with actual what happened. Even in some states like California and Florida, you just can't unalive somebody unless there's reasonable fear. And that needs to be litigated. Sometimes you get arrested. And that's litigated and you turn out to be innocent. Sometimes you get arrested, that's litigated, and you turn out to be a criminal in that situation. The black girl who smashed the white girl's head into the concrete, she's going to jail. Even in the state of California or Florida, yeah, that was a mutual combat flight fight, but it didn't rise to the point where it was dangerous and a detriment. And the reason I can say that is because the same way we, the same way white people feel about that situation, I felt the same way about when four or five white kids took baseball bats to a homeless black woman and was beating on her. I was equally compelled to say we need a new 2024 crime bill. That's what we need. And I say that on behalf of Mahogany. They need to use Mahogany's case as a reference point to why you Negroes who feel compelled to violate people to that extent needs to be gone for life. And I ain't talking about, you know, a, a, a hate crime bill, something that's to our detriment, like the Asian hate crime bill. God for sakes, if an Asian come in the neighborhood and buy up all the black grocery stores and my little nephew is who's starving because his mama is some like Mahogany Jackson mother and, and want to sell the food stamps. So he need to steal a honey bun and hit Mr. Ling Ling upside the head. Now he got to go to prison for the rest of his life. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when you... And your psychics, you have a reckless disregard for hurting people to the extent. Sometimes even I'm guilty of that. I just said, if somebody tried me, I'm going to go all the way there. So I don't put myself in situations where I need to go there or around people that makes me feel like that's okay behavior or it's, it's okay to do that to them. And that's what we need to start. So a lot of weak Negroes and childish people that let this rap music fool their head up, they need to go on to prison. They need to go to prison. Okay, I need me some Johnson & Johnson, Bob Barker gone. I might be like Michael Jordan and invest in prison stocks. Niggas is mad at him, but niggas is not going to stop going to prison. So why y'all mad at Michael Jordan? Why y'all mad at the penny stocks over in prison? I'm going to go to prison anyway. They ignorant. You don't want to be one of them. So if you're on a trajectory of becoming one of them, I hope I woke you up. My guys are the same. Um, thank you for because oh thank you let me see um i'm missing memberships and stuff i'm missing so much stuff i'm sorry um i definitely don't want to miss that i definitely want to tell you that i appreciate you guys matter of fact the new members please drop the stars in the chat drop the stars in the chat to all of my members i want to see all intergalactic stars in the chat we are all stars over here you understand what i'm saying we are all stars Drop them stars in the chat, please, and thank you. And if you was given a membership, please pay it for it by donating a membership to keep the money train rolling. I agree, Ratchet is turning mahogany into a business. Yeah, yeah, he turned the mahogany into a business, and I'm finna turn his goddamn ass into a business. That's how we gonna get it. Come get it back in blood, nigga, because I ain't scared of no motherfucking cease and desist notification. Can't believe that nigga threatened me with a fucking see. So let me put this cockroach back on the screen. Let me stop because I got other stuff to talk about. <laughs> All right. Please hit the like. Please hit the like. Let me see how many likes I got. What y'all think he going to do with this season? This is notification. What y'all think he going to do? Uh, 
All right, can I get some more likes, please? And thank you. Um. Okay, well, people said. All right, keep keep on taking that survey too. New members, can y'all at least put a star in the chat as a token of appreciation? I greatly appreciate you guys. Okay. So. I got a question. What do you guys think of a black woman flying a plane? What do you guys think? This needs to play. So, <laughs> honestly, if I seen her as the captain flying the plane, I'd probably get out that plane and ask for my money back, go to a whole new airline. If I, uh uh, what you doing? And I think that has a lot to do with conditioning because I'm used to seeing white men fly the plane. Even if I see a white woman flying the plane, uh-uh, I ain't finna fly this. No. She probably mad her husband cheating on her. She decide she want to take her own life and take everybody else with her. It's the easiest thing for her to do. You know, how many, you know how many women that be driving on the road and just want to give up on life and they do rollover accidents and stuff? You know how many people do that? So you think I'm going to trust a woman flying a plane? I ain't finna trust that. Uh-uh. That, you might as well trust a woman to become the president and give her all the nuke codes. I'm not finna play with my life. Just imagine it's two women flying two separate planes, right? <laughs> you know how women be doing drive-bys, be riding next to the woman in the cars talking smack because they sleeping with the same dude. Just imagine two women sleeping with the same man and they know they finna cross paths in the air in the airplane. You think they ain't finna collide and play with everybody. They don't care about everybody. They ain't equal ties and they want to care about it. If I can't have it, you can't have him either. And all the lies they ought to be responsible for. No. A woman can't drive no ship, can't fly no plane, can't do nothing. And if I find out it's a woman conduct on the train, I'm going to get off the train too. Now, I don't mind a woman driving a bus. You know, it was a woman in my neighborhood. We loved her. Her name was Miss Rose. She drove the school bus. She drove the school bus every day to the point to where when she got in her car, she stopped at the railroad tracks to open her passenger door and close that bit because she was so used to being a bus driver, Miss Rose. And the older she got, the worse she got. They said she had dementia, but she knew to stop her car at the, at the track and open the passenger door. I'm sitting there in Miss Rose's car. She's stopping at the train. I'm looking. I'm like, what you doing? She said, you better open that door over there. Oh, okay. She said, I got to hit the train coming. I said, okay, Miss Rose, I'm opening the door. Good God Almighty. You know, that's that's when you take your job to a whole nother level where you daydreaming about your dog. Miss Rose went to sleep in her job. She was stopping at railroad train. So she didn't have no choice but to stop at him in her car. Miss Rose, I love Miss Rose. God bless her soul. She just passed recently. And Miss Rose did a fantastic job protecting children driving a school bus, not a plane. Uh-uh. Child, please. It's going to be... <laughs> Next thing you know, that y'all might as well give planes and, and airport licenses to the cartels to fly them instead of a woman. Y'all might as well get a Bin Laden's they license to fly a plane instead of a woman. <laughs> I know y'all hate me for that. <laughs> Let me see what you... <laughs> Oh, y'all don't hate me for that. I was like, these people gonna hate me. <laughs> please hit the like. Please, please, please hit the like. If you're enjoying that content. <laughs> Greatly appreciate you guys. Okay, what's next? Um, we talked about that. <sighs>
All right, so most people want to be an actor, want to be somebody in Hollywood because it's their way to get love and validation that they wouldn't have got elsewhere. I didn't get it at home, so I want the whole world to love and validate me. So I'm going to go to Hollywood. I'm going to be on TV. Even if I'm 83 years old in a nursing home, I'm going to be able to bring a clip up of when I was a young hotshot, 20 years old, 25 years old, and say that I did this. You know, bragging rights. You kind of immortalize yourself. You know, Elizabeth Taylor, my mama love White Diamond. I get it for her every Christmas. I know one thing, my mama going to love White Diamond. Shit, my mama was in prison with some white diamond on. I went to visit my mom. I said, Mom, what you got on? I'm talking about white diamond. I said, you fucking this CEO. How you getting that goddamn white diamond? I don't know. But anyways, um, you know, it immortalizes you. And you get to be free. You get to be yourself. But then you get to Hollywood and realize that even though you are effed up individual, you got to pretend to be this perfect person, clean. Oh, this blog can't say this about you. You can't act this way because you need to sell these movies. Well, I'm sick and tired of selling movies and buying into fake personalities in Hollywood. I'm sick and tired of it. That's the same thing with me. This is why I can stand on my flaws, insecurities and all and have an answer to why I did what I did when I was at a certain place. If you don't like my answer, I don't care. It ain't all the way innocent. But people go to Hollywood for as a form of escapism, as a form to live their true self. So tell me why Michael B. Jordan ain't come out the closet. Why he ain't come out the closet and why he tell the people he got a nose job too. Hollywood hotshot Michael B. Jordan. Oh, uh, Michael B. Jordan says he's lonely because he puts too much energy into his work, says he hasn't found someone who truly understands him. There's a part of me that really hasn't lived yet. I've sacrificed for too long. Yes, come on out the clouds. We want you to sashay and, and just live in yourself and go skipping out a rainbow bridge with some man. What man you want, Michael B. Jordan? They say you like them white boys. And, you know, you got to do you. I hope you don't unalive yourself because you got to live in the closet for the rest of your career. Michael B. Jordan. They say they put I am legend two on the back burner because you don't know if you gay and they don't know if Will Smith is gay either. So they didn't put it on the back burner. You done did all of this stuff hiding in the closet, not being yourself and everybody know around you know you and Drake are just the same. <laughs> and y'all sitting out here pandering. It's all about an image. You did that. You did that. Just the same way you got so filthy drunk when you went out by yourself trying to ball greasy and you crashed your Lambo and you was drunk and you colluded with the uh, the same dude P. Diddy be calling to have the LAPD in them to not give you a DUI because you got to protect your image. Kevin Hart did the same thing. That's why you alone and miserable. Come on out the closet. We see you as clear as they Michael B. Jordan. Shoot, I love Killer Mongo. I knew Killer Mungo had some regress, other type of frustration. Ain't no way in hell you tapped into that type of character with, with that much anger and animosity toward Negroes and let Negro pick at you and call you gay your whole life. That's the only way you angry and upset with them like that, Michael B. Jordan. Come on out the closet. We'll have a whole parade for you. <laughs> a whole celebration. Okay, we, we will embrace you. Come on out. Girls still going to love you. Ain't no black, even these black girls that, oh, I don't want, uh, 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 child. They be humping on them bisexual and down low niggas anyway. They'll protect your secret. Mike, come on out, Michael B. Jordan. Come on, get you a pretty black girl like Lori Harvey and the white man that you want to be with on your shoulders. We'll, we'll accept you. It's 2024. We're not in the 80s. Come on out. Prince been wearing Power Rangers underwear on stage. Why is we in 2024? Somebody can't be gay and out and open and celebrated. Michael Jackson been screaming like he got hit and hit dude since the 70s and we still in 2024 and Michael B. Jordan can't come out and be and live himself? Why is that? I guess it's niggas like Ratchet Hood Doc in the Birmingham side of YouTube and Club out they ready to pick. But pick all you want, bitch. Y'all gonna get packed up fucking with me. Michael B. Jordan need a lot bit of me. See, that's what happened when you come from the South. You bought it, bought it. You understand what I'm saying? But uh, Michael B. Jordan, I wish you the very best. Um, come on out that closet like the turtle shell that you hide in, and I will support you. Much love, much appreciation. Uh, I can't wait to I Am Legend 2. Uh, how much ick did you and Will Smith have before y'all bonded to get the parts right and the relationship right? 
Um, I could care less. That's not the brand they chose. That they shit not there is not theirs. Ain't no way he did all that. Ain't no on a YouTube channel talking shit that way. <laughs> Y'all must be talking about man. Listen, that boy's finna cry. I ain't, he too he too pussy for me. He too pussy for me. Um. <clears throat> so I already done told you guys that I firmly believe Dre groomed Jalen in order to be uh, uh, his baby mama so that she can take over the basketball wise franchise. That's what I honestly believe. It's in my heart, my spirit that Drea did that. She always wanted to be somebody. She was babysitting his ex girlfriend when she was under the age of 18. LA ain't but so big, so you know she had access to him. You know, I just feel like Drea was looking at Jalen Green when he was a little boy playing with her son, probably in the sandbox or something like that. And she was, ooh, I can't wait till you grow up so I can get you. There's plenty of women in my neighborhood looked at me like that. So why is it different with Jalen Green with somebody like Drea that knows that she can groom him, that knows that his brain ain't fully developed to the point to where she can take over him. This man got a tattoo of Drea on his right there, right there by that at the kisses down below got a tattoo of Drea. Where her tattoos of anybody that she done trapped off? Where her tattoo with her first baby daddy? Jalen, you just a sucker. Okay, you might as well be like Tristan. I hope you don't walk like him because they say that big booty is the wet. Wetter than cold with Uchi. That's what they said about him. And we want to know why you got on black fingernail polish and you allowed this woman to do this. Was it just an arrangement, Jalen? You got you need a designer baby. You want to make sure your baby is light skinned and pretty and got a uh, uh, real estate and a basketball franchise. To, you wanted a you know you wanted a Dwayne and Gabrielle Union situation. Yeah. Yeah, and stuff, and I guess at the end of the day, once Drea get the baby and realize who you is, and she don't want to be with you, she don't want to be like Jada Pickett Smith, married a bisexual man or somebody that can't keep her happy. She gonna turn you how the uh, Gabrielle did uh, Dwayne's daughter. We gonna see you cross dressing. We gonna say that Jalen Green has turned into Joanna Man by the time Drea get done with you. How you got her tattoo on you? She ain't never gonna get your tattoo. She got your semen inside of her. And she want to get married to you. So that's 50 right there. Plus the baby. Nigga, that's 80, 90% of your whole income. Anything can happen to you. And dread and playing with that baby inside of her for her whole legacy. She got her money. Baby, baby, baby. And you take everything for you. You ain't got that old lady pregnant. And you done cheated up. You pro I believe Jalen was smashing Dre when he was a little boy. Cause like I said, Dre was babysitting his girlfriend, and I know she was jealous of her because she was pretty and younger and with somebody like Jalen with a lot of potential. And all these older niggas ran through her and don't want her at all. At all, they don't want her. They didn't want her so much that they kicked off of the basketball wise franchise, and now she says she want to be the executive producer. That being said, she want to be the Natalie Nunn of basketball wise. And what? Not just L.A. She want to be the basketball wise of Houston. And wherever he goes, she going to take the franchise. Grip the damn motherfucker. And then open your leg to that body boy who painted his nails black. Uh, Jalen Green, one of the girls, girl. You going to come out and we going to find out you just like the White House. I hope it don't take you so long. You and Michael B. Jordan need to live and y'all got the damn truth. It's 2024. Paint your nails black. Have your designer, baby. And tell Dre you like the nigga your ass so she can put up that deal, though. To try to keep you from that on the down low. Uh, appreciate you guys. Please hit the like. <laughs> Love you. Did not incur. I'm screaming. Up. Thank you. <laughs> he really put his wife and his kids. Yes. Yet, yeah, child. Don't trust no niggas. Don't trust no Christians. He did all that so he can have power and control over that woman. Um, let me see. I think I got one more thing before we get up out of here. I Let me see what time is it. Oh, yeah, I got to go to the gym, you guys. I got to go to the gym. Please hit the like. Please hit the like. Greatly appreciate you guys for being here. Also, please, this is the final ver, final part of the content we're going to go through. I'm going to talk about Beyonce. Yeah, please don't unsubscribe to me. Cause 
Um, like this video, subscribe to the channel, make sure your notifications are set for always. Thank you guys so much to those who bestowed um, financial benefits to this pro uh, to this platform during this conversation. I greatly appreciate you. Uh, I greatly appreciate everybody that's here listening to me and find me entertaining. Sometimes I don't try to be funny. Sometimes I do. Um, you guys keep me happy. You guys keep me wanting to be in front of the camera and wanting to be creative. That's what this is about. Um, so I greatly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for the friendships. Thank you for the super chat. Y'all making me feel so special. Let me, before I get into this part, I need to make sure it's called what I call it. Because... Mm, Okay. Hey, who's ready for some new Beyonce? Not me. She sold us overpriced tickets for Renaissance concert, making me think that she was going to drop some videos and she ain't never drop them. Then she had the nerve to turn around and sell some scent that smelled like vanilla bean coffee. And then sold us a hair care line saying that she created the hair care line that she stole from the people over there across seas like she did single ladies dance movement. Because she has skin conditions. How your witch's mark on your face got anything to do with you using certain hair products? That's them witch's marks. The devil gonna come and collect when you sleep, Beyonce. It can be a sweet dream or a beautiful nightmare. But I do know one thing. You can't get no more coins out of me. How you gonna Carter call Cowboy? Cowboy Carter. That's the name of her album. Like we asked you or ever respected you in the land of country. You didn't let that go. You didn't let that moment you had with Celine Dion when she just backed up because you a black woman go to your head when you was yelling and screaming over Celine Dion. Then you did Daddy's Lessons. My daddy said, "Who? My daddy said, Who? I was vibing with it. You know, it was just a track on a that I vibed to, but a whole album. Texas Holders is trash. I don't care if it go number one more times than Thriller. That song is garbage. You can fool them white people, but you can't fool me. You didn't got enough of our money since Renaissance, the movie, the, the perfume, now the haircut line, and now you want to sell us a, a, a whole new album, and we still ain't get the visuals for the first Renaissance. We don't care, Beyonce. You is a grift at this point. You over there playing with them white people, trying to grift that back because you think you got us in a lock, in a chokehold, and you can play with us. And, and oh, Beyonce so special. She don't have to do interviews. No, she's not. That's just a brand and a reputation. We all know Beyonce sound worse than Christian on rock whenever she do an interview. And we need an interview. We want that tea. You need to go sit with Jason Lee. Go sit with a live streamer. Acclimate yourself into what's going on. Sit down with your daughter, Blue Ivy. And go live so we can see what's going on. Or is Jay-Z like what they say he is? They say Jay-Z keep her eye on that ketamine and everything over there. They say she like Cassie and Diddy. And I don't know why she would put herself in that situation. Such a beautiful girl. But I do know you ain't bigger than the world. And you ain't bigger than the picture. And you don't deserve my dollar without giving me what I want. We want to hear from you. We don't want a product every time we see you. Half of the stuff that you sell, talking about you got a hair care line. Talking about you got a cologne line. Half of that stuff belong in Walmart next to uh, JoJo CY hair bo bonies over there in the cartoon alley. That's what you put that stuff over there. We uh uh we good. We good. We want to hear you talk. Your mama come out and say you uh, behind the scenes and say you difficult to work with. Stop trying to grip black people, Beyonce, on Black History Month. You drop a whole album, a whole tour. And had people broke before their taxes came in one year. Y'all remember that? You should have failed doing that Super Bowl performance. Maybe we would have been vindicated. Oh, let me. Maybe you would have got the sympathy by to me. Oh, she's such a hard worker. She failed. She's a performer. Okay, let me. You already got me. Your birthday was on the 4th of September. And I seen you at SoFi Stadium. I seen you. I paid too much money for that ticket. The least you could have did was wink at me or something. I was making eye contact with you the whole time, Beyonce. And now you want me to buy cologne. Now you want me to buy some hair product that's going to make all these bitches ball here. Because you jealous because everybody got ill hair. I would never trust no hair care products owned by a black woman. Beyonce ain't no different than no women that sit down at their kitchen and do hair. But it took all your daughter hair out because they mad at you. I would never trust no sacred hair care by Beyonce. And you stole it from the white people across the sea. Nah, for real though. Ain't y'all tired of Beyonce climbing in your pockets? 
acting like she entitled to our respect and entitled to our hard-earned money. Ain't y'all tired of that? Anyways, appreciate you guys. Let me stop it. All right. Please hit the like. Please hit the like. We up out of here. I greatly appreciate y'all. Let me see what you guys are saying. The chat be the chat be moving fast. I need the chat be moving faster than. <sighs> Anyways, um, not before the taxes came. Uh, the nerve. <laughs> Breaking news. Move. Got my way before you get read over. Who? Oh. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Please hit the like on this video. Please and thank you on your way out. We got to get up out of here. <sighs> Greatly appreciate you guys. Much love. Much support. <laughs> Y'all really hate him. Damn, y'all hate him. Mm -mm. I gotta figure out what y'all was talking about. I gotta go to uh, the gym. So without further ado, oh, and another special announcement. And I think the people that I need to talk to are here. Um, some people have been inquiring about becoming a mod. I listen, and it's don't no shade. I be really trying to give y'all the best content possible, and I don't be in the chat. So I somebody told me that you guys are inquiring about becoming mod. If I'm gonna make anybody a new mod, I need help as far as production. I need to save myself time. By having specific time codes and specific videos so that I could reference and it will speed my load of content up, right? It takes me time and preparation to get ready for these shows. Um, as of right now, I only have one person, two people sending me timestamps here and there. Nobody consistent though. And I probably would want someone that's consistent, whether you're in the true crime sector uh, rather you're in the celebrity gossip sector or even the political sector and there's something urgent that you want me to know and that you want to get my opinion on those are the type of moderators i'm looking for i'm not looking for a moderator that just want to be cool i'm looking for somebody that's here to help me build and protect me and support me okay all of my moderators that just want to be here just to be here i already got them and they're gonna be here forever appreciate you guys much love bye <laughs>